Very upset, very unhappy uh, because of Trump, not because of the United States, but because of Trump. He is incredibly unpopular in Mexico. The government has managed to work with him so well, far reasonably well. Lopez Obrador has made a huge effort mm -hmm. to never respond to any of his provocations, whether they are rhetorical or in real policy, mm -hmm. like, for example, taking back the Hondurans, mm -hmm. which is something which, you know, is very humiliating for Mexico in, in many ways. And Especially it's since Lopez Obrador was States. saying amnesty for everybody when he was running, right? Well, he, he's actually sort of doing it mm -hmm. in terms of the Hondurans entering Mexico. He's letting basically everybody in who wants to come in. But they all go to the northern border. They stay on the northern border. The Americans let them in, you know, 10 or 15 or 100 at a time, depending on the city. And so they're all going to be sta sitting, waiting at the border for uh, six months, a year, two years. And then there's the problem, which is just in the Mexican newspapers these days, in the new place in Piedras Negras, where they all are now, the Hondurans, which is that you want to keep them, so to speak, down on the farm. You don't want them to move away from the shelters that they are in on the Mexican side. Now, how do you keep people in the place? Well, you put them in a place that's enclosed. How do you enclose it? Well, you enclose it with walls. And if you, people want to climb over the walls, well, you put some barbed wire around over the walls. And then if somebody gets out through a door or something, well, you want to have armed guards outside. Well, you know what? They have a name for these things uh, in Europe, or they used to have a name. Mm -hmm. They're called concentration camps. Yeah. And there's pictures of them in Piedras Negras today in Mexico.